Welcome back, Ledger Potato here, and today I got a really cool duplication glitch to show you guys from Minecraft Bedrock Editions, and so that being Xbox One, Windows 10, uh, on your phone, Android, whatever you've got, uh, so anything running Bedrock Edition, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool, really easy duplication glitch that you can use on anything. So, hope you guys will enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you do leave a like on it does help out the channel, but let's get right into this duplication glitch here. Uh, so, here it is. Here's the setup for it, and so we have an item frame. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, is this like a dropper? Or not a dropper, sorry. We got a, a uh, minecart with hopper here. As you can see, we got a, a hopper there underneath it, and then as well as that, we got a chest. And so what we're going to do, and we're going to get rid of that first of all, is we're going to go into survival and we're going to duplicate that diamond chest place. So let me go into survival here. We'll go into personal game mode, go to survival. There we go. And so, uh, as you can see, we don't have a chest plate on us. Let's say we want a bunch of chest plates for whatever reason. This can work on all items, so I'll show this off in a minute. So, nothing inside this chest, nothing inside any of these things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get tons of diamond chest plates. So, I'm going to drop it and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this a few times, just like this. And so, what you guys will see is that we're actually going to get a bunch of these. It looks like we only get one. Uh, but that's the trick to this is that is only uh, the thing that we have here Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let's go ahead and check the chest now And as you can see we suddenly have so many diamond chest plates. Look at all these look at all these we just got and of course, this is in survival. I'm in survival mode right now. Uh, so that's very important to keep in mind is that you can easily duplicate anything in this game. Look at this. Look at all these diamond chest plates. So if you have enchantments, anything, anything can be duplicated. So just to show you guys the potential is this glitch goes even further than just like something small like that. So let's go into creative. Let's get a bunch of cool items and show you guys how cool this glitch is. And I'll show you guys how to do this in just a moment here. So make sure you do stick around for that. Uh, so we'll go into creative here and we'll just show off a, a bunch of things it works on so let me just go to the creative menu which is a little confusing uh, but this works for anything so let's say you want more diamond swords let's say you want more totems of undying elytras uh, like anything any rare item that you want a lot of really easy to duplicate them let's say you want uh, let's find a notch apple if we can there's somewhere so let's try and find that uh, I don't know, like any sort of rare item that you can think of, or a beacon, uh, like it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, and we can even do shulker boxes, and I'll show that uh, towards the end as well, is uh, how crazy that can be. So if we go into the miscellaneous food, uh, no, it's not there. That's not important, don't worry, but it works on anything. You guys get the point, of course. Bottles of enchanting, you name it. Any item you can think of that you have in survival, you can get using this glitch. So there we go, there's a notch apple. But you get the idea. Uh... So yeah, that'll work. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll do the uh, items here. So we'll do uh, go into survival. So let's see, so game and personal game mode to survival. And so this machine's really easy to set up as well. So I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and put it in. So we'll just kind of do this really quickly. Uh, but it's kind of weird how it works. Oh, okay, we just dropped it in there. Uh, but let's show you guys that it is working. If we can even open the chest, there we go. So as you can see, there's multiple diamond swords. Um, so you can do this really quickly. This is probably the fastest duplication glitch that's out there right now. So we can just go ahead and keep doing this really quickly. And so now we probably have tons of totems of undying. Um, so yeah, as you can see, tons of these. Uh, let's say you want a bunch of elytras for your friends for whatever reason. Then you don't have to like go and reset your end or do any sort of weird thing or go find more end chips. You can just do this. Look at this. Uh, so do that. Tons of elytras right in here. So... I can open that, but it's going to lag for a little bit, of course, so. Uh, I don't know, sometimes it lags, but uh, yeah, honestly, this really doesn't require all that much to do it, so. What's great about the shulker box as well is that you can duplicate uh, these shulker boxes themselves. So if you throw a bunch of items in here, let's say you throw in... Uh, all your good diamond armor, your diamond stuff, all your diamonds, whatever you got, anything good that you want to throw in here. You can duplicate the shulker boxes, and this is probably the most efficient way to do it, of course. Um, okay, there, so as you can see, we duplicated the beacons. I can't break the shulker box because I don't have a pickaxe, but you guys know what I mean, of course. You get the idea, uh, but here, let me go into the creative, and I'll show you guys that it works on the shulker boxes as well. Uh, and then we'll get into building this thing, because it's a, a really cool thing. Um, so I'll get myself... Uh, actually, we can pick block this, can't we? Does it not give me the stuff inside? I don't think it does, so what we'll do is I'll give myself a diamond pickaxe. Uh, and we'll do that. And we can also do enchanted books. I haven't showed that off, but yet yeah, you probably already know that it'll work. So we'll do, uh, I don't know, what's a great enchantment that you'd probably want? Let's say you got sharpness 5. Sharpness, uh, sharpness 5 is pretty good. So we'll go into uh, survival. There we go. So we can take the shulker box with us, uh, and we'll also 
yeah, actually, we'll put the, the Sharpness 5 in there as well. So let's say you want tons of these items, right? Okay, so what we're going to do, do the same glitch as we were doing before. And as you can see, we're going to get tons of these shulker boxes. So not only are we duplicating the shulker boxes, which they're a really helpful item, but you also get all the items inside of it as well. So um, since the shulker box does store everything that's inside of it, uh, you can easily take advantage of that and get tons of the stuff back. So I don't know what you can use this for. Maybe you can make uh, tons of cool kits or something in like your survival world. I don't really know, but uh, the chest doesn't seem to be opening. It's a little bit laggy, but of course, let's get into actually building this thing. So you guys get the idea by now. You guys have seen probably enough examples. You get the idea. Very simple to take advantage of. Uh, so I'll clear the hop bar there, but uh, as you can see, there's all our shoko boxes with everything in them, beacons, whatever you want, you name it. So here's the resources you're going to need. Let's go over to our survival inventory. Uh, so you're going to need a hopper, a rail, a uh, minecart with hopper, chest, item frame, uh, piston, button, and uh, some blocks to build with. So um, you can use whatever blocks you want. You just have to be able to put an item frame on it. So if you can do that, then you're all set. So I'm going to build it right next to this thing. It's really easy to set up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So uh, we're going to place uh, three blocks here like this. And we're also going to dig uh, underneath and put in a chest like this. You can do a double chest if you really want to. Um, it didn't work for some reason. There we go. Uh, actually, you want to put in a hopper first. So if we put a, a hopper in right there uh, and then do that, we'll place in a block for now. Uh, and then we're going to place in our rail. You want to make sure the rail is facing uh, along this path here. So if you just place one next to it, then it can guarantee that. So the minecart should be facing this way, like this. Um, so if it isn't facing like this, then just make sure you fix the rail and then you're all set. Um, so then you can break that. You can break this. And there you go. So now the the uh, my cart with hopper uh, drops onto that. And, and then what we can do is we can put a piston. We can put a block here, uh, and then a piston, and then a block there. And then we can go ahead and put a button on the piston. And then that will go ahead and extend that out. And then we can put a block behind here. Uh, I messed this up. <laughs> Wait, what did I do wrong here? So let me go ahead and see what I did wrong. Um, but basically, you want to make sure is that the uh, minecart with hopper stays inside the block. That's the important part here is that it has to be inside of that. Um, so let's go ahead and actually, I think what we want to do is we want to do it from the top. So go ahead and do the piston here like oops sorry like that and then we'll do a uh, piston underneath you have to do the piston from the top I just remembered is you got to do it like this and then you got to uh, put on that like that so as you can see now it's going to stay in there because if you use the piston sideways then it actually pushes it out of the block which is bad you want it to be inside this block uh, because that's uh, what helps make it work and then you're going to want to go up a few blocks or so I don't know like up to this height it seems reasonable uh, but I don't know some reasonable amount of height that you can go up to and you want to be able to uh, Put an item frame in there and you want to be able to place and you know break stuff in there So not too high, but also kind of a good distance. So it gives it falling time as well So you can get rid of these blocks behind it if you want to you don't really have to but I don't know if you just want it like that It's super simple and it's all working and you could uh, even hook this up to your own like storage system or something as well Which is really cool. So yeah, you can do whatever you want since obviously it uses hoppers. You can easily set that all up. And then after that, all you need to do is, once you're in survival, of course, you, you're probably in survival when you're doing this. So uh, we're going to go in survival just so I can show you guys. Um, you just place your item in, you break it, and then you when you get it back, you place it. And you're going to, to get it in the chest, of course. But um, I did it slow. You kind of want to do it as fast as possible. And then you'll be able to do it. So if we just try it again, we'll just go ahead and break that. So yeah, you would just want to kind of do it quickly. Just kind of spam your buttons and then you'll kind of get it uh, like that. So that's kind of how you do it. And then you'll get the whatever item you did. Uh, I would recommend you use the shulker boxes if you do already have them. Uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. Very nice and easy to build in your survival. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Of course, if you did, make sure you do leave a like on it. It does help out the channel a lot. Let me know you guys do appreciate it, of course. Uh, sorry to mess it up, but that's how you do it. You do have to do the piston facing uh, downwards like that. And then you'll be able to do the glitch. Um, very easy to take advantage of. Hopefully this helps you in survival so you can get tons of cool stuff. You can duplicate things like wood, dirt, diamonds, whatever you want to do uh, for your survival, of course. And all your friends will be super impressed about how much stuff you have. And I think that's pretty great of course but um i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one guys and peace out